Hi everyone, I'm Perry Osnes, Vice President of Legislative Affairs with Compere Financial, here to provide a quick update on some key issues of interest to Compere and its clients. Uh, let's talk about Farm Bill first because we're rapidly approaching the deadline when the current Farm Bill expires, which is September 30th. Uh, despite the fact that there are still discussions between the House and Senate uh, leaders and the Ag Committee to try to resolve some of those differences, it appears that there are ways apart on several items, including the uh, SNAP uh, work requirement language the House has included in their bill. Uh, if they can't reach some sort of an agreement in the next uh, couple of days, it would seem very, very likely that there'll have to be some sort of an extension of the current Farm Bill for a period of time to allow them to try to work through these differences here, hopefully over the next few weeks and get a new Farm Bill actually put into place. Um, trade uh, continues to remain a, a hot topic, a big issue for agriculture. Uh, the U.S. and Canada continue to talk uh, about resolving some of their differences. And so as it relates to all that, uh, USDA uh, earlier this month on September 4th announced uh, producers can go in and sign up for what they're calling the Market Facilitation Program. This is basically the, the tariff uh, relief program that farmers that have grow are growing some key commodities affected by the tariffs can receive some assistance for. Some of the key commodities eligible include soybeans, corn, wheat, pork, and dairy. Farmers can go into the local FSA office and sign up for basically half of their production, a payment on half of their production for those affected commodities, and, and perhaps a second payment will be coming later this year, depending on the status of the negotiations between the U.S. and China. Uh, soybeans are by far the, the biggest recipient of this assistance, which makes some sense given how export-dependent soybeans are. But certainly there are some uh, issues that have been raised uh, by some of the major commodity groups in terms of the funding formula that USDA used to, uh, to do the allocation. Uh, USDA came out with some additional details on that last week, but uh, I would expect there might still be some uh, discussions about the payment for formula on those commodities uh, on an ongoing basis. That's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching and listening, and have a great week.